Okay, here we are. Uh, I've got these demi cannon over here um, on this ridge. It's the best place I suspect I could put them since they are uh, constrained. If I put them here on this hill, uh, the elevation, it just they'll just shoot into the hill. Um, over here doesn't give them as much, uh, also they'll be hampered by the trees and this ridge here. Uh, so they have a hard time shooting to the left. Uh, and then down here on this flat surface, um, it's it's not as, they won't be as effective. Um, so I've given them over there, hopefully I'll be able to pick off some of the troops stationed on the Spanish right flank. Uh, the other cannon here, I'm going to run it up and put it on this ridge and then back, move the army up to back it up. Um, and yeah, general here, a uh, small division over here, major force here, major force here. Engage. And they've all gone and hidden in the trees. Those bastards. Okay. Uh, group three. You like that. Group two. I want you like that. A little bit further up, please. Group three. You deployed like that. Very good. And all of them, every man of them is out of range. I'm going to take this division. Move it up like that. Very good. See? And I can fire over my troops and not have to worry about hitting them. Unless they start marching in front of the line of the cannon. That way, please. Also, I've got these uh, three units acting as a singular unit as well. Um, ninth group. <laughs> because there's 32, 19, and 12 of them, respectively. So, uh... Don't think that they're going to be terribly effective uh, on the front lines. Why would you do that? Why would you just run there and park? Second rank, fire. Box. Where are you firing? Let's see if you can't hit those. And you, my friend. Oh, you're firing at the cannon. That's a good that's a good decision. Fight him off! Get him! Stab him! Ooh, he's slashing! Poke him with a stick! Poke him with your pointy stick! That guy, get back in the box! Get back in the box or something bad's gonna happen to you. Alright, lads. I don't know what you were defending against just then, but okay. Uh, how are we doing over here? Still firing down there on the cannon. Took another one of them out. That's nice. Yep, you're routing now. Get him! Get him! Don't let him leave! Don't let him leave! Stab him! Yeah! Stab the wrong direction and kill him! Well done. Okay, uh, let's take the smaller artillery. Start firing that way. Main artillery, fire into that. You, I'm gonna place along the ridge here. Uh, you. Are they in grape shot range? They are.
Yeah, good shooting, Tex. Okay. You guys actually want hiding in this brush. If at all possible. You fire down this way. You switch to round shot. Fire this way. Hold the line, lads. Come on, Spain, come after me. Okay, that guy is still legging it. You are still legging it. Here we go. Keep firing, lads. Trying to be sneaky and hide. The cowards. Oh, you're still in a box formation. Unbox, please. You cease fire for a minute. That's the way that they want to do things. We can certainly accommodate. Fire again. Fire onto these guys. Don't shoot. Don't shoot. Now go after him. Cease fire. Oh god. Um, yeah, I'm gonna want you to move back. <laughs> like it. And you lot fire down this. You lot keep firing where you are and kick it back up. Run! Get back into position on this side. Run. Change the canister. Slow down. No, you need to get in line. You need to be in formation. Go. Because I need these guys to be able to do this. Yeah, good job. Guys, spin cannon 
ceasefire. General, move it up. You lot, wing. Because we're gonna do this. Chuck grenades into them. on those, please. You ceasefire. Unit one, charge. Run! Get out of here, you devils! Actually, we're gonna have the general. Reform the line! Lads, it's your time to shine! Get in there! their captain or general or whoever. Excellent. This is not going to go well for you, I promise. Leg it. I get you lot ceasefire. Go. Get some grenades in there. Ha ha! Take that. Stick that in your pipe and smoke it. I think that's the battle, and I'm not going to bother mopping them up because, uh. Well, maybe it's not. I hope someone's apparently still alive. Oh, I've got these horse down here. Okay. Well, spin. Pivot, and there they go. Now that's the end. And I'm not going to bother running them down, because they're all too far away for me to do anything effective anyway, because I have no horse in this uh, particular army. So, end battle. Shove off.
Okay. So I've very nearly killed him entirely. And yeah. Can't do anything about that. And I think, uh, dear viewers, on this particular note is where I will end this particular part. Um, so we've, uh, we're going to work on f mopping up the rest of Louisiana, maybe uh, march down to Texas, and send this army down into Mexico. Uh, presently we have 30 out of 50 territories, again about 60% of our uh, required amountage. Uh, over here we are uh, improving our economy. Uh, pulling in now about 11,000 a turn, getting this uh, an army trained out of London to go uh, garrison itself um, down here on the borders of Spain to free up this army to move this way, to free up this army, or to reinforce this army and help them to uh, assault the uh, the Polish and the, uh, the Germans. Hopefully nothing else bad happens in the not distant part. This was fairly peaceful, so to speak. Uh, a couple of major battles here and here and there, but nothing, um, nothing of major consequence and no sudden surprises, which is nice for once. It's been quite some time since we've had a part where that hasn't happened. Um, any comments, questions, or suggestions you might have, uh, please do feel free to post those. Um, especially once again uh, with what perhaps to do on this border, um, given the situation uh, that looks like this. With uh, Berlin fairly well garrisoned, Dresden slightly less so, but also having to be concerned with um, uh, Vienna. Let's see if we can show that. Yep. With uh, Vienna and uh, Prague as well. So how best to do that? Also knowing that there is a small army over here in Pressburg uh, in Hungary. So, what should we do on this border? Perhaps where to assault first, now that our economy is coming back up. Uh, I might do one more uh, or one more set of turns where I just dump money into the economy uh, to improve that. But we are soon going to have to start working on chipping away at uh, Prussian and Polish uh, power in this region. So perhaps how might we be able to do that? Uh, questions and suggestions on that would be most appreciated. Um, and before I go, let's cause a little bit of bother for Poland, shall we? There we go. And you, my friends, are going to stand where you are. Silesia actually looks pretty ungarrisoned, so I think this is their front line. Oh, Presburg has, uh, been abandoned, so I don't know where that army got to. Maybe it's down here in Croatia. But this is the, it looks like the majority of the Polish forces are in this area, and I'll keep moving my rake around, maybe look at West Prussia and East Prussia, to kind of see where over here, if we can crack through here, if Poland is more or less screwed. For the moment, it actually kind of looks like it, so we'll see what happens. Uh, but once again, comments, questions, and suggestions, as always, much appreciated. Hope you've enjoyed this part, uh, and hope you've enjoyed this campaign so far. Thanks for watching, and have a lovely day.